Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Nature Terrain Generator to create any of the terrains in one minute and send it to Blender to perform any of the 3D animations or any of the 3D modifications, 3D modeling, etc. First, you open your iClone 7. In your iClone 7 here, you go to the plugins. You should be able to get the terrain generator from here. Click and open the nature terrain generator. This is a plugin. And next, what you are going to do is just select the quantity of the mesh. It can be 3 times 3, it can be 2 times 2. It is up to you. And subdivisions as demo, I will choose. The 32 times 32 resolution, I will choose 2K as demo. The texture, what I'm going to choose will be this one. I click generate the terrain and just wait for a while. Now the terrain is generating. All right, next. You can see in your nature terrain generator here. This is the plugin. I will just drag it to the side. And you just look at here. Click the edit. And you can see once you press W, actually now you have 3 times 3. Totally you have 3. Alright. So let's say if this if this part I want I want the side to be up. I can just choose here and let's say this part I want the center to be up I can just drag the center now you see for example this part if I want to create a hole at there I can just choose a center part I drag it down then I will create a hole immediately and now you, you take this dummy as reference look at the back the back is at there, the front is here, so this is selected. I want the back to be up. You can push it up or you can push it down. This part you can try as well. That is the whole part. All right. So now once you feel you finish it, you still can create another terrain. You can see all of this. You can just categorize it as terrain. Terrain once you right click here, sorry, you press F2, you rename it as the terrain 01. And you click the second one. This is under the scenes. You click the second one, hold the shift and press the last one. Click here. Okay. Click here. Attach to. You can click pick the parents and you take the terrain zero one. Now the terrain zero one is the whole thing. Next, you are going to make this to be transparent. All right. Now the box zero zero one. This one. You make it make the opacity be zero that's all now when you want to choose just choose the terrain zero ones and now you can create another one another terrain you just want to generate click here create a new group and for this time i just want to have one one is enough next it's 32 2k i want to create a rock rock layer for example this one and then I click generate the terrain now a new terrain is generated here what I need to drag is drag the group and drag it down here next I want to edit it at the center I want to create a group this one select double click and select it click the center I want to create a rock mountain just like that. So now for this part, 
I can just drag it in. Wait. I can just drag it in like this. Right. And this box, I just want to make this box to be transparent. That's all. Now, this is the terrain and I'm going to make this rock to combine with the terrain zero one as well. I click the group, I hold the shift, double select it, and click here, attach to, I pick the parents, attach to terrain zero one. Now, this is just one terrain and what I'm going to do is, I want to eliminate and combine all the mesh here and also I need the CC tree, just open the character creator tree and then add here wait just send this avatar to iClone first We need to use the CC3 avatar and CC3 to just combine all the mesh first. And just because of all, all of the terrain here, just are using, using the morph. So now I click the terrain zero one. I click here, attach to, I choose pick the parents and click the CC3 avatars hit. Now, it already become an accessory. What I need to do is just click here, scroll up, edit in character creator. Now, this terrain already become just an accessory. In your character creator, choose replace all and wait for a while. Right now it finished. All right now it's already in the CC tree. Next, what you are what you are going to do is just press Q and double click the terrain. Click here, modify it. Merge accessory, because now this terrain is an accessory. So you need to merge everything to make sure make sure all the mesh merge into just a single mesh. Next, what you're going to do is click here, send the avatar to iClone. Before that, in your iClone 7 here, you can just start a new one. You don't no need to save this. In your CC3 here, you click send the, the character to iClone. And wait in iClone 7 until it finish load. Right now, it already transferred to iClone 7. And now you can see in your iClone 7, the terrain 0 1 already become just, just a single accessory. Now, you, you click the scenes and select the terrain 0 1 and click here, scroll down. You can see it's still attached to CC base head. You can click detach. Once you detach, it will back to the prop. And now, press Q and click the CC3 base plus. You press delete button to delete the avatar. Now you you left the terrain zero one. Now it is ready to send it to Blender. In order to send it to Blender, what you need to do is export as FBX file. Alright, so now you are going to export it as FBX file. As demo, I will just export it on my desktop. So I will click File, Export the FBX. You must make sure you already click the scene and select it. Once you select it, it, it will highlight. Alright, next, click File, Export, Export the FBX file. 
the target tool preset you choose blender current frame embed the texture you take it and click export as demo i will just export on my desktop i will create a new folder here name this folder as terrain01 all right so now i will click the desktop and export here name it as terrain01 click save now check your folder it is ready the terrain01 fbx is here if you double click and open by using the 3d viewer it is not guaranteed to be opened you can just have a look sometimes it can open sometimes it cannot but for this time we are going to import the fbx file into blender so open your blender as demo i will just delete all of this delete the camera delete the cube and also delete the light and for for this time i will just click file import the fbx import from the desktop terrain 01 the terrain 01 fbx and wait for a while now it is loading you can see now all of this all of these are here if you click here you can just open everything the whole terrains the whole terrain are here the box is still there you need to adjust the opacity to make it be zero in your blender all right the whole the whole terrain already in Blender now. That's all for today about how to use the terrain generator to create any of the terrain in one minute and export as FBX import into Blender to create any of your 3D modeling project or any of the 3D animations. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.